My name is Saran Sharma and I am from Electronics and Communication Branch. Hello, my name is Upasana Nyoki and I am from Electronics and Communication Branch. My name is Danish Peer Singh and I am from Electronics and Communication Branch. My name is Harleen Kaur and I am from Electronics and Communication Branch. My name is Joshal Mittal and I am from Electronics and Communication Branch. Now we are going to explain the hardware for our module. We are using Raspberry Pi 3 Model B version 2. It has 1 GB of RAM and 4 USB input output utility ports. 1 Ethernet port for wired internet connection. It also has a HDMI port for display uh, output and it works on 1.2 GHz 64-bit CPU with inbuilt Bluetooth and LAN for connectivity. It also has a strip connection for Pi camera and 40 GPIO input-output pins and it works on 5 volt input power supply. So in short, it works as a mini computer. For the input of our live feed, we are using 12 megapixel uh, digital camera with enabled with night vision. It also has an adjustable focus, so it provides a large field of view. We are using IR sensor for obstacle detection. In case something comes in front of our model, uh, it will block the field of view and uh, generate a stimulus that is that will be captured by our buzzer, 5 volt buzzer for repulsion process. We are also using Twilio API. It is an open source API which is used for sending SMS and making calls over the internet from any part of the world. After making the connections and to access the interface of Raspberry Pi, we are using VNC Viewer which access the IP address of the Raspberry Pi to open the interface of Raspberry Pi on our laptop. After getting inside the interface of Raspberry Pi, we get into the folder of TF, TF Lite 1, which refers to the TensorFlow Lite. Light. In that, we create a TensorFlow Lite environment where we access the code of the detection through webcam where the live feed is being fed using the sample Coco dataset of the Microsoft. This dialog box opens and this window shows the person is being detected at the frame rate of two frame rates per second through the live feed, which can be fed to make the decisions. This is the example of dog in front of the camera. This is the example of cow in front of the camera. These are the libraries that are being used in the code and Twilio is the API that will send the message from their Twilio API number over the internet to the required number which is used for getting or receiving the message. So for accessing the camera, we are using Pi camera or a USB camera which is used to detect or feed the input to the Raspberry Pi. The object that is being detected is used in this function. So we are detecting harmful and non-harmful elements or using this code, we are sorting the classes from the COCO dataset that is 23, 24, 25, 26 respectively, which belongs to elephant, giraffe, zebra, and bear category. And the harmful counter rises by one when the animal is being detected. And it sends the harmful animal detected message to the Twilio API number. Same as well with the non-harmful animals or the animals that can damage your crops. After this, the Twilio API number sends the message to the a given or required number, the required action can be taken against the animals. Thank you.